Now, Weather Week, exploring summer threats. All week long, we're informing you about summer weather. It's so that you could be prepared. New England is no stranger to hurricanes, but the last time we saw a major hurricane was in 1954. That's when a Category 3 hurricane hit this area. Here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka with a look at what this hurricane season has in store for us. On average, one to two hurricanes make landfall in the U.S. each season. The past two seasons had extreme impacts on the United States with billions of dollars in damage. New England hurricane history has names like Carol, Donna, Gloria, and Bob. The worst storm on record, the unnamed hurricane of 1938. After the devastating storm surge from Hurricane Carol back in 1954, state officials decided to build the Fox Point Hurricane Barrier in 1960 to prevent a storm surge from coming up into downtown Providence. 1954, that's the last major hurricane, meaning Category 3 or higher. So it's not a matter of if the next Category 3 hurricane happens, but when. While the hurricane season runs from June 1st to the end of November, the most active period is typically August and September. The remainder of the season is predicted to be near normal. NOAA is predicting 9 to 15 named storms, of which 4 to 8 will become hurricanes, with 2 to 4 of those hurricanes becoming major storms. But regardless of the numbers, we need to be prepared every season. I spoke with Ken Graham, the director of the National Hurricane Center. He stresses it only takes one storm and to always be prepared. It doesn't take a whole a lot of storms to make it a busy season. That's why preparedness is everything. It, it's getting ready just in case. Don't worry about the number of storms. Just be ready for what could happen. There are so many global factors that can influence the hurricane season, but by far the biggest one, the oceans and sea surface temperatures. And specifically, where's the water running warmer or colder than average? Sea surface temperature anomalies in both the Atlantic and the Pacific. And it's this part of the Pacific along the equator that we watch with some interest. We're currently in an El Nino phase. In other words, this part the water running warmer than average and that can influence global or weather circulations across the entire northern hemisphere which in turn can dictate how the Atlantic hurricane season will be in terms of storm strength, frequency and track. So it remains to be seen if the warmer Atlantic waters and the current El Nino in the Pacific will offset each other this season. We still have 21 more weeks of hurricane season to go. Uh, 21 more weeks. I feel like we start holding our breath, but there has been much happening lately. So is there anything you guys are watching closely? Well, interesting, the, the National Hurricane Center is watching uh, the northern part of the Gulf of Mexico for later in the week come Thursday and Friday. So folks from the Florida Panhandle to New Orleans and even Texas may have some possible developments. So we'll keep an eye on the situation.